guys, how's it going? I hope everything is fine. Today we are going to look where the luck is going to hit you. Why am I doing this video right now is because I had an incredible dream and I felt like I have to focus on more of the good things and the luck and all the good stuff and it is time to just focus on the luck as well because spring equinox is coming. That's why I decided to make this video. Let me prepare my cards, my piles, and then I will come back. So now I want you to pick one of the shamanic healing cards. This is home, this is feminine energy, and this is divine timing. I, I did not want to just put something else on the cards. If you are ready, let's just start it. Hello number one, how is it going? I hope everything is fine. Today we are going to look where the luck is going to hit you. I have a feeling like lucky and good things are coming. They are on the way. And I did not want to miss this time to just make this video. You have home at the beginning. The shamanic healing card is talking about your home. So whatever is going to happen, probably it is about a home. It's about where you are living right now or maybe if you are going to do any kind of a change luck is going to hit you from that department so i will put it here at first and then i will come back with this cards so you have three of pentacles okay six of cups Hold on a second. I have a feeling it's not going to fit. <laughs> and my cards are tiny. Which means I zoomed a little bit too much, I guess. The star. Okay. And six of swords. Could it be mine? I didn't pick any piles, but I want to pick yours. Honestly, this is amazing. I love it. Okay, guys, let's just talk about the cards. By the way, I don't know if they are against the star cards. I just saw Rosology was just putting some paper on the card. I didn't see any kind of a problem before, but of course, I'm not monetized yet. Maybe that's why. I don't know. YouTube is just going wild these days. Home. Three of Pentacles, Six of Cups, the Star, and Six of Swords. So you have two six, which is really, really good. And there's like 44, 4466. Four, six. Something is going on. I don't know. If you are into numerology, please just check it out as like angel number. 4, 4, and 6, 6. Well, if you feel unhappy at where you are living right now, if you feel like you could do better, if you feel like you are stuck in a position and now you cannot leave, if you feel like there must be something more than this in life, if you feel life is cheating you on with something else, if you feel like everything is against you, if you feel like the things that you have been working on is not really paying off, if you feel like you would like to go somewhere else but you cannot find enough of money, if you feel like you could find a better place for yourself in general because you feel like you deserve it, because you think that you have struggled enough and it is time to move on, I have really, really good news for you because you will have the opportunity to create a safe environment for yourself. So, this environment is not going to include the people that you don't want to see in your life. But it doesn't mean that you are going to break all the relations with the people that you don't like, you don't want to see them anymore, and you're just going to flip the finger to them and you're just going to leave. No, I don't feel anything like that as well. What I feel is more peaceful. A peaceful solution, peaceful resolution. It is not like you are going to pick fights with everyone, then you're going to storm off and you're going to start a new life. Yeah, it's not really that easy. Your way is more sophisticated. And you will find a place for yourself. This place is going to be your home maybe for a long time. And this is something that you would like to see in your life for a really long time maybe. It's not like you just started to dream of 
yesterday it is something that you have been working like maybe five years or maybe you want it for you know entire life if you would like to do those kind of changes you will have the opportunity to do so you will be lucky in this thing you will heal your environment you will heal your home and how it is going to happen i can tell you this you will be alone for a while but not like lonesome you will not going to feel lonely but you're going to be alone and you're going to be happy about it because you will rest your mind you will listen to yourself you will focus on the things that you would like to focus on you will prioritize your thing and it is going to be remarkable I don't know how this opportunity is going to hit you. Are you leaving for another town or you start to work at somewhere else so you have to move or you are just like starting your life from the beginning? I don't know what it is, honestly. But what I see, the feeling, the calmness, the peace. No one is bothering you. No one is bothering you. And sometimes people that we love are the ones who are just like affecting us the most. Not in a good way, of course, not in a really good way. Those people are just like acting with kindness, but this kindness is not really helping at all. They have good intentions, but their intentions are not really enough for you to be happy. Your happiness is about yourself, your own priorities. And for argument's sake, it's just teensy tiny amount of like an example. You don't have to take it like as it is. You would like to start a diet, not just because you would like to lose some weight, but you would like to try some new food. For example, maybe you never tasted avocado. Just giving an example, okay? And you would like to taste the avocado, but no one is purchasing that avocado at the house that you are living. And when you purchase the avocado, they make fun of it. And they don't use it in any kind. No one is really interested with this avocado. And you would like to try something and you're just looking to the things online, what you can do about it. And it is your first try and you try it and you are not really so sure about it either. This avocado is not really that great or you just... You didn't excel at the recipe. So it wasn't really that tasty maybe and you... And everybody's just like, yeah, I told you so. It's not really that great. But you wanted to give it a chance. You wanted to give it a chance. And everybody's just making fun of it now. <laughs> you know, it's so annoying. You wanted to do something for yourself and everyone is just like making fun of it. Not only they are making fun of your avocado, but you know, the next meal they prepare something extremely greasy. You cannot even digest. This is exactly how it feels. This is exactly how it feels. Living at the home that you don't want to live in. You cannot cook for yourself and you have to suck it up for whatever that is being given to you. You know, if it was just like you living alone, you would do something about that avocado or you would find it really tasty because no one was going to make fun of it. You would maybe say, you know, maybe I should just use less salt. Maybe I should just use this tomato instead of that tomato. Maybe I should just change the bread. Maybe I should use some eggs. Those kind of things you might actually feel, but you wouldn't just make fun of yourself or the avocado. But since because you don't have the peace of mind and everyone is just talking about this thing, you don't feel really comfortable. What a long example that is. I, I did not want to go this long. I'm sorry. But what I am trying to say here is that no matter what you would like to do for yourself, someone is going to you know, make fun of your priorities or whatever you would like to try. They are going to make fun of it. No one is really open-minded and everybody is just accepting you to turn into them. They just accept you to, you know, like the things that they are providing to you because they are doing with the good intentions, right? They would like to feed you. You are leaving that place. That's what I see. You're leaving that place. Six of Swords is talking about leaving for something better, right? The luck is going to hit you from home. You will find a home. Your luck is going to hit you with the opportunity so you can leave for yourself. You can find a place for yourself. You can have your own space. You can have your own priorities. You can focus on your things. And it is possibly because of the work that you have been dealing with for a while now. It is going to pay off. And when it pays off, you are going to be happy as a child. The luck is going to hit you by giving you a space, a room of your own. 
a house of your own and of course if you are seeking to purchase a new house and if you are just looking to those kind of things you are going to find something magnificent nearby a lake comfortable commute people are nice and kind you know you're going to find something exactly what you're looking for that's what i saw for you guys and i hope you enjoyed it hope to see you in the next reading bye hello number two how is it going i hope everything is fine you chose feminine energy which is talking about receiving good things from the life not like a passive weight it is more like i demand kind of a thing and i like this card for that before that i was just like a little like people who are differentiating the energy types like feminine and masculine was a little stupid but they explained quite well in this deck i love it you will demand what you deserve and you will have it so luck is going to hit you from there okay let's just see your cards king of swords you see i demand demand is really important it's going to be really effective in your life hermit another wise and professional person are you writing down a thesis or something three of swords and king of cups two kings and a hermit okay my friend luck is going to hit you from the places that you give your passion it could be love it could be work or you know education I don't know why, but every time I see a hermit, I see someone who is writing down a thesis. I don't know. Why? I don't know. If you have been focusing on your studies, if you have been focusing on your work and all those things, they are going to pay off. And your luck is going to be that. The things that were not working before, it, they will start to work now. Whatever gave you this disappointment, this heartbreak, whatever gave you the tears those kind of things are going away you will feel powerful i see power and passion in your cards now as i said i see a little bit of love if you have this love related situation that has not been working quite well for you you will have the chance to just see what is good and what is bad if you have someone in your life that is not really okay that is not really good you will find another person if you have been single for a while which sometimes hermits talks about that as well and it is giving you a little pain you know maybe you don't want to be alone you want someone in your life a little cuddle a little warmth someone who is thinking of you someone to message someone to text waiting for the text all those kind of things you will have it luck is going to hit you where your passion is if you want a really passionate relation in your life, you will have it. It is not going to be like logic and logic and logic and disappointment. It is going to be, yes, logic and yes, knowledge and wisdom. But yes, also emotion and feelings. And yes, because of that, happiness. It's not like disappointment anymore. It is not like life is not rewarding you anymore. It is like okay i am going to give you someone that is really important and you are going to see a lot of passion from this person life is going to say that to you of course if you are just focusing on love not everybody is really focused on love and if you are focusing on your studies or your work then life is going to bring you such an opportunity so you can actually have something better for your work if you have been unemployed for a while or if you feel like people didn't actually give you any kind of a chance or you're supposed to get some kind of a promotion but you were brushed off this situation is going to go away and you will have something way way better and you will feel this pride I wanted a change in my life I wanted to focus on this thing and I worked really really hard and now 
life is rewarding me. You will feel like sometimes it doesn't happen like that. And you know that quite well. You know that quite well. Sometimes life is being a little bitch. You put a lot of hard work and effort and you put a lot of time, tears, sweat, all those things. And life is still giving you the finger. Like, why? Honestly, you have seen that before. But it is not going to happen again. It is not your fate. It is not like something that you are going to see for the rest of your life. You are not unlucky. You are not cursed. You are not like fooled by the life. No one is taking advantage of you. You will have your power over your passion. And the luck is going to hit you from the place that you will feel extremely passionate. Could be, as I said, love or work. I cannot rule them out. I don't know. I don't want to, honestly. Not because, you know, I cannot. But I really don't want to rule one out to just focus on, you know, love or just to focus on work. Sometimes we need them both. And we have to be open to those kind of energies. We have to demand. We have to get what life is providing. And life is going to provide you quite a lot. You're going to feel like yourself again. You're going to feel in your element and people are just going to look at you. They're going to see someone really powerful and someone strong, someone who knows what they are doing and they're going to respect you, but they are also going to like you for that. Not like they are not going to be like scared of you. That is really good. I love it. I don't want to just keep it long for you because it was really good enough honey you are good you're solid that's what i saw for you guys and i hope you enjoyed it hope to see you in the next reading bye hello number three how's it going i hope everything is fine number two was quite precise and easy and it was fast it was just like in your face i hope the exact same feelings that i will have from your reading you have divine timing you chose divine timing Never forget that. These are the energies that you chose. It's not like something you chose and all of a sudden it started to show itself in this way. You literally chose this thing. So you want things to be over. You want change. You want good things to come. You want this divine intervention in your life. Things to turn out quite well. You would like to feel happy again. You would like to have something nice in your life again. And you are focusing on all the good stuff. And no one is going to take you away from those kind of focusing period. You are going to just like, I want a little time for myself to focus on what is going to happen next for me. And no one is going to stop you, even if they tried. So... Let's put it in here and see your cards. Three of Cups. Celebration. Temperance. Balance and healing. Eight of Wands. Communication and fast moments all the good kind of correspondences and ten of cups what are you doing my friend are you getting married i wanted to ask this because there's a card of divine timing you want something to just come to a conclusion and there is the conclusion of the family of the blissful family and there's a celebration if you would like to get married, let's start with that part. If you would like to get married, you will have a chance to get married. Luck is going to hit you from this part. You will have the chance to get married. If you're single, you're going to meet someone really exciting and you're just going to start to think about getting married quite soon. Not like problematic soon, but you know what I am trying to say. If you already have someone in your life and you don't know if there's going to be any kind of a marriage, luck is going to hit you from the part that you are going to see that this person is also interested with marriage. Things are going to escalate quickly. But as I said, not like problematic or red flag kind of a thing. Not like you're going to meet with a person the next thing that you guys do is meeting with your parents or whatever. Not like that. <laughs> it's stupid and it is really problematic, but... It's more like there, there's a progress going on and it is coming to a conclusion. 
so this was just only about this part you know the marriage or love related situation but I feel like there's some kind of a situation going on with the friendships or you know the social life as it is if you have been feeling a little alone if you have been feeling like your friends are not really that great if you feel like you are stuck in a place and you cannot find new and good friends if you feel like you know the environment is not really friendly this is going to change luck is going to hit you from the social life as well you are not going to feel alone or lonely you are not going to feel lonely that is the word you will feel fine you will feel balanced you will feel like everything is at where they should be you will balance your life in such a good way that people are going to admire your hard work and your dignity, your grace. People are just going to focus on you with really good kind of an admiration. You will not going to have those kind of problems of yesterday. If you had any kind of a problem related to those situations, it is not going to happen anymore. If you had a friend that has been a little wishy-washy, you are going to stay away from that person and life is going to bring you more and better friends. You know, the people that you're going to meet next, they are not going to be the people who happens to be really problematic and demanding and toxic. They're not going to be like that. You are going to find your soul family. You are going to find your equals. And you guys are going to have such beautiful correspondences between each other because you respect each other quite a lot. You will share quite a lot and you will have this like emotional bond that is not going to be really easy to break. I see balance in your life. So whatever it is going to happen next, it is going to bring balance in your life. If you feel like a little out of balance, if you feel like things are not going quite well for you, you are just going to stay away from that kind of a feeling and you're going to see that life is going to bring a lot of luck when it comes to feeling like yourself again. And for a reason, I cannot just like shake it off that it could be related to people around you, people in your life. Those are going to be the ones that happens to have any kind of an importance in your life in near future. It is time to meet new and good people. It is time to change the old and toxic people with the good and new people. You are going to have this change in your life. It is time for you to change a couple of things in your life. And this change is not going to be painful at all. This change is going to be like swift and fun and quick you know it's it's gonna be really good you're going to enjoy it quite a lot i see a lot of enjoyment joy happiness excitement you will have all those kind of things so this springtime you're going to have the luck to have something nice in your life and that is going to be about your social setting that's what i saw for you guys and i hope you enjoyed it hope to see you in the next reading bye